Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Poppy. We are back to another video. Now in today's video, I have a special sneaker unboxing for you guys. And it's special because I've been waiting for this particular shoe for around like eight months now. And the reason for that was not because they got delayed, but because the shoe is actually a pre-order. And this shoe I will be unboxing is gonna be the New Balance A Leon Dior 1300. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. But before we do, please hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me down on Instagram down below. See how I style all my sneakers and outfits. Hopefully, I will have a fit pick up in these soon. It's been raining here lately, so it won't be relatively soon. But I promise that within this month, I'll probably have a fit pick in these because I cannot wait to wear them. And I will have on feet during this video as well. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's get right into it. Sorry if I sound rushed, by the way. I'm filming this during my lunch break. So I only have so much time and I don't want to make this too long. But anyways, let's get into all the details before we get into the actual shoes. So like I mentioned, they were a pre-order back in August. And honestly, I was pretty surprised because as you guys know, a lot of hype shoes these days don't come out via pre-order. I believe this is the first shoe I've ever pre-ordered in a while or maybe ever, honestly. And yeah, it, like I said, it took like eight months for me to get here. But I'm not complaining at all because I will gladly wait six to eight months, even a full year, if, I, if that guarantees me a chance of buying the shoe for retail and I don't have to deal with bots, resellers, all that nonsense. So I'm cool with the pre-order. Like I will wait. I'm not like an impatient dude. I have plenty of other shoes I can wear during that time frame. But yeah, so I appreciate Aimee Leon Dior and New Balance, the way they handled this release, letting everyone who wants a pair get a pair. And yeah, that was super cool. But anyways, it came with an envelope, a New Balance envelope. Open this envelope, you got a little piece of paper. It says Life and Balance. And then it says Aimee Leon Dior in the back. And you know, just a cool little piece of packaging, nothing too special, but a nice gesture nonetheless. And here's our box. We got the green New Balance box. Now there were two colorways of these shoes. You had a green and you had a pink. Now I believe the pink ones probably come in a pink box. And of course you guys can see that the green ones come in the green box. Now one complaint I do have, and this is just with New Balance in general, is that they have great quality shoes. However, they need to fix their boxes. I mean, this box is super flimsy. Um, it feels like I could just like rip this thing in half super easily. Um, nice box, nice looking design, but just overall it's very like flimsy. And yeah, like these just are not sturdy boxes. And I would like to see New Balance, you know, maybe, maybe we can get some better boxes in the future. But keep making the shoes like they are because they do an excellent job. And these are no exception because bang bang, here they are. The New Balance 1300 in the green colorway. As you can see, hopefully you guys can see how hairy these guys are on this suede. Like that's the first thing I noticed when I took these out of the box yesterday. Is just like how nappy and like hairy this suede was. It kind of reminded me of, you know, it's going to sound weird, but it kind of reminded me of the Grateful Dead Dunks. Just because like that shoe is so out there with like the fur. I know like these are completely different than the Grateful Dead Dunks. But just that material kind of just reminded me of it. You can even see on the back heel here, you got like the green flakes get into that white part, which usually some people would like complain about that because they want to keep the white clean. But I think it adds like a nice little uh, look to it. It's kind of like a green speckle on the, on the back collar, even though my, this is the right pair. Yeah, right pair, even though my right pair doesn't have that at all. I will definitely get some close up shots. That's the first, first thing I noticed, a very deep green colorway. It's like a golf course as well. Another thing that reminds me of is definitely like a golf golf course or just grass in general. Anyways, you have a mesh toe cap, white laces, 3M N logo. On the back, you just got a white out New Balance. I thought that was interesting. They went with the white out instead of like, you know, having the New Balance logo in green. You got a cream outsole, which is a nice touch. You know, we all know if you've been on Instagram, cream and sneakers has just been like the go-to lately. People are eating that up. Um, the one thing I really do like about this shoe, maybe my favorite part, is just the color of the tongue. 
The tongue is this nice cream color and it just blends so well with this shoe. Um, especially with the green colorway. It's something about green and cream that just, that sounded like, I don't know, it just sounded weird coming out. But the green and cream together just looks so good together. And yeah, I can't get enough of that. I really like the way they did that tongue. Definitely would the cream tongue looks way better than if they just did a white tongue. Now, another interesting thing about this shoe is that there's really not no A. May Leon Dior branding on here. The only time you see the ALD branding is going to be on the tongue right here and on the inner of the shoe, as you can see right there. And then on the bottom, we just have a typical all black outsole. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not too familiar with the 1300 silhouette. If you guys have been following my channel or looked back at my previous videos, you guys know I did review the New Balance 1300 RC, which was a 1300 on top, but they changed the outsole. They made the Vibram outsole. And if you guys watched my review, you would know that I mentioned in the review that they severely like cut the back of my heel up because the inner collar here was leather on the RC. So I actually ended up getting rid of those, and that was my only experience with the 1300. So I figured I would point that out. But as a traditional 1300, this is my first one. And since we're talking about the back heel, this is actually like that soft cloth material. So I should not have an issue when wearing these shoes. So that is good because if this was leather back here, I'm not sure how that would work out for me. I don't know. That was just kind of weird. I've never had my foot get like so cut up in the back heel area just from like a shoe before. Besides that, like New Balance RC 1300. But that's neither here nor there. Now let's talk about sizing. because That's what a lot of people are going to be asking about. Now sizing on these, I go down a half size and all my New Balances. So I went with a 10 in these. I'm not going to lie, they fit a little big. There's some room in the back heel area, and I found this interesting. So I was messing with the, out, or, uh, the insole today, and if you guys could see this, the insole says men's 10 and a half to 11. So it doesn't say like 10 to 10 and a half, it says 10 and a half to 11. So I don't know what that means, or... I don't know if they like made a mistake, but this size 10 does fit a little big. Now it's not too big. I just have to like tie it up all the way so my like heel doesn't like feel like it's coming out when I step. I mean, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but if you still are looking to pick up a pair of these, go a half size or maybe even a full size down because they do run long. So that would just be my sizing recommendations. But whatever you do, do not go up in this shoe. Just go a half size down or a full size down. And yeah, that would be my sizing recommendation for these. But regardless, I think these are super fire. Honestly, one of my favorite pickups of the year. It's been harder and harder to buy shoes these days, as many of you guys know. So I truly appreciate them doing the pre-order because honestly, without the pre-order, I probably wouldn't have got these for retail. Just keeping it real because ALD has been super hyped. New Balance has been super hyped. They've been selling out. They have the 550s dropping this week, which just dropped via raffle today, which I'm not expecting any luck on. I believe these 1300s and the pink colorway are dropping again in May. So if you want these, I know resale right now is like pretty much retail, but I believe they are having a retail release. So if you want to wait for that, um, follow ALD on Instagram and they should be posting details soon. Like I said, they should be dropping them again in May. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!